What's up everyone, this is Tony Journey Crypto. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I would invest and diversify $10,000 into the crypto space if I was brand new and investing for the first time. I'm gonna show you guys a pie chart and what cryptocurrencies I'd buy at what percentages and explain why I would pick these cryptocurrencies as well. So before we get started, I do appreciate if you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit the bell to be notified when I release new videos. I'm doing at least two videos per day right now and this is very time sensitive information sometimes so I definitely recommend hitting the bell. All right guys, so yesterday night we actually saw a market dip like I was expecting and I did warn about in a previous video in the last couple days. The market pretty much dipped 25%, some altcoins even more. So this is what I was talking about when I said there's great opportunity coming with picking up some of your uh, favorite altcoins that you do want to stack more of. And this is why dollar cost averaging is great because you spread out your purchases and you're more likely to be able to pick up the dips and buy the dips instead of going all in at one peak price and then panicking when the price does drop 20%. Uh, some people will buy in at the peak and then see it go down 25%, panic sell, and then it starts recovering and then they lost their position. So before we jump into the pie chart and I show you guys what I would buy if I was investing $10,000, I do want to give you guys a quick warning because scammers are coming out in the masses to steal your cryptocurrency. Even veterans in the crypto space, uh, this guy here, Allcoin Dead, in the crypto space for seven years and he still got scammed from a common scam on Telegram. Uh, from fake support chat. So if you're going to Telegram, be very careful. There's so many fake accounts there waiting to message you and then they'll request information or send you to a fake website where you enter your information and then uh, they basically fish your private keys and then just send off all your cryptocurrency and that's gone forever. You cannot recover that. So I do recommend going through my cryptocurrency course that's 100% free. Um, this is Cryptocurrency 101 Buy, Sell and Trade for Beginners. There is a course in here on how to uh, watch out for scams and how to avoid major mistakes in the crypto space as well. I uh, created this in the summer of 2020 and there's very relevant information in here. Similar courses cost over $100 and this is 100% free. There will be a link to this in the video description. All right guys, so I'm gonna reveal the pie chart now and show you guys what I would invest in if I was brand new to the crypto space. I'm gonna remove myself from the screen here just so we can see it. So a quick overview. Um, this is if I was spending $10,000 in the crypto space and how I would diversify uh, to be successful in the long term. So it is good to be diversified no matter how bullish you are on a cryptocurrency. Uh, you can always be diversified and then when certain coins have profits, you can always trade them to the coins you're more bullish on as well. So a quick overview, Bitcoin, I would put in 5% or $500. Ethereum, I would put in 20% or $2,000. Cardano, $3,000, Binance BNB, $1,500, and Sparkpoint SRK, a low cap hidden gem, $3,000. So this is um, a total of $10,000 here. And I think this is pretty well diversified for a new crypto investor. So it's gonna be very hard for new crypto investors to find a good small cap cryptocurrency project that does have huge potential. I've been in the crypto space for a long time and I've uh, been invested in SRK for quite some time as well. I'm also a marketing um, advisor for them. So I know the huge potential here. I research dozens of small cap cryptocurrencies every single week and SparkPoint SRK is by far the best and I do think it's gonna have huge return on investment in 2021, especially with the things they have coming. So Bitcoin, I just hold a very small percent because I think it's already up a lot. But overall, in the very long term, I'm holding this 10 to 20 years out anyways. So I don't really mind the dips or anything. Ethereum, I'm still very bullish on. So that's why I put 20%. Cardano and SparkPoint are my most bullish cryptocurrencies I hold and the ones I hold the most of. So I did put both of these at 30% each because I do think both of these will have the highest return on investment in 2021. So if you guys just wanted to invest $1,000, you would just take these percentages. So you would just do $50 in Bitcoin, uh, $200 in Ethereum, 300 Cardano, 
150 Binance BNB and 300 in SparkPoint SRK. And also keep in mind, this is not financial advice. This is my own opinion. And this is how I would personally invest. I do not recommend you guys go out and copy this exactly as it is. Do your research and find all coins and cryptocurrencies that you like and that you would want to invest in. Uh, for the long term as well so i always try to invest in cryptos that would be good in the long term that have a great uh, team and long-term vision and are continuing to build good utility for the token as well that's very important so this in my opinion is um, a great portfolio for long-term success binance bnb the company binance owns a lot of major platforms in the crypto space so i do see them being uh, continuing to grow throughout the next five to ten years and bnb price going up a lot as well and i do think ethereum will be testing two thousand dollars soon and then i am slowly selling my ethereum for more cardano here as the price of ethereum goes up so i'm more bullish on ethereum in the short term but more bullish on cardano ada for the long term in 2021 as i've stated uh, in previous videos if you guys haven't checked out my recent video here uh, ada versus ethereum um, I go over which one is better for the short term and long term as well. So personally, I wouldn't go all in and buy at a peak price all at once. I would spread my purchases out if I was new. So if I was getting a paycheck, um, let's say I made $5,000 per month and I wanted to invest 20% of that into cryptocurrencies and I get paid bi-weekly, every two weeks I would take $500 out of my check and immediately buy into cryptocurrencies, uh, whichever ones I'm most bullish on long term. And I would continue doing this long term. So today is a great buying opportunity with this huge market dip. It's already recovering. We saw Cardano ADA dip as low as 25 cents. Uh, Ethereum temporarily dipped into the 900s like I did state in last night's video that would be very possible so these big dips are very normal in the crypto space you guys got to keep in mind there's people out there that bought ethereum around hundred dollars just in 2020 um, ethereum dipped as low as 87 dollars in the mid-march market crash so a lot of people are going to be taking profits along the way but uh, something you have to keep in mind is google trends um, Ethereum search is peaking at an all-time high here, even higher than the peak of the last bull run, where Ethereum did touch the price of $1,400. So if this holds in this trend level at 100 peak, um, there's definitely going to be a lot of buying pressure and will continue climbing for the price of Ethereum and pretty much. So if I was new to crypto, I would invest an initial $10,000 if I could like this. And then I would do dollar cost averaging, spreading out my purchases and just continue doing this long term. Those that invest long term and just hold tend to be the most successful. Uh, for instance, people that got into Bitcoin and were uh, dollar cost averaging throughout the bear market when everyone uh, was not interested in Bitcoin. Picking up Bitcoin averaged around three to five thousand dollars. Now they're up 10x basically. So doing dollar cost averaging does allow you to pick up cryptocurrencies and lower your average buy-in cost, which does have a massive effect over time. A lot of people I'm seeing are just buying at a peak price and then they get panicked when it does drop 20 to 30%. If you're doing dollar cost averaging, then when you see a dip like this, you're not panicked. You actually see it as a great opportunity to actually purchase some more cryptocurrencies and increase your holdings. So I wanna talk about why I picked the cryptocurrencies I did in this pie chart and why I picked these percentages. So four out of five of these are top 10 cryptocurrencies. And then I do have one small cap cryptocurrency here. And that's because small caps are very high risk, but at the same time, they're the highest potential return on investment. For instance, if you got an Ethereum at the very beginning, you'd be up over 1000 X right now. Same thing with Bitcoin. I actually uh, was looking into mining Bitcoin when it was just $30. And if I did so, I'd be up over 1000 X right now, just insane. And that's in less than one decade. So I don't recommend any new crypto investors buy into small cap cryptocurrencies, especially new ones that have anonymous teams or don't have a solid vision or utility for the token. There's gonna be a lot of hype on new tokens coming and people will just buy into them blindly and then lose all their money we saw this happen a lot in the summer as well so as you guys see on coin market cap here at the top it shows how many total cryptocurrencies are on coin market cap and this is going up daily right now so 8,231 cryptocurrencies total and there's thousands of other ones that are not listed here 
So you have to be very careful with what you buy into. So for those not investing a lot, it's really not worth the time researching into smaller cryptocurrencies and trying to find one that could be a huge investment for the long term because uh, chances are you're just going to end up wasting your time. I research these uh, dozens of these per week and I have been consistently for the past few years and Sparkpoint SRK has been the best one I've found so far. I know there's other good ones out there, but um, just in 2020, Sparkpoint SRK did a 50x and it's still pretty undervalued in my opinion. If you check the market cap, only around $15 million. So as they build and as they grow and get more token utility and become more relevant in the crypto space and popular, this could move up to the top 100, which would be at least a 10X. And that's only a $150 million market cap still. Uh, comparing that to top cryptocurrencies, there's over 40 cryptocurrencies now that have a $1 billion market cap and rising very quickly. So if you find a really good small cap project that you think is good for the long term and has great vision, is gonna stick around and stay relevant and continue building, um, there could be massive potential profit there. So for instance, if you wanna see how much the multiplier would be going from $15 million market cap all the way up to 1 billion, you would divide 1 billion by the current market cap of 15 million. And that would give you the multiplier of how much uh, return on investment you would get. So 66X the current price if the circulating supply stays the same. So current price is one fifth of one penny. So if we do that, oops, 0 0.002 times 66. That would give us 13 cents per SRK getting to $1 billion market cap. So that's pretty huge. So let's say you invested um, from the, the pie chart here, the $3,000 into SparkPoint SRK. And that did a 66X, that'd be around $200,000 you made. And uh, this could happen in a very short period of time for small cap projects that really have huge potential. So I'm not telling you guys to go out there and buy SparkPoint SRK, but I do think it's a great project that has a good long-term vision and has huge potential being a low cap project. Um, so you should definitely have it on your radar and look into it. They also have some free mobile games you could try out. Uh, Crypto Shooter, Crypto Burst, and Crypto Slicer. Some very fun um, mobile games where you can actually earn some SRK for free as well. And they do have uh, monthly bounties you can do to earn a few dollars of SRK here and there as well. So a quick disclaimer, I am a marketing advisor for this project. And I have been in the project since the beginning here. And I'm not uh, hands-on with the team. I don't work hands-on with them, but I do advise the CEO, Andy, as requested for marketing stuff uh, because my entire background is in digital marketing uh, for the last decade. That's what I've done, creating websites and doing digital marketing. So I have given them um, some very uh, useful advice that they've definitely used and has definitely helped. But I find out about announcements and stuff same day as you guys. So they did pay me early on here to be an advisor. They're not paying me to sponsor this video. They don't pay me to talk about uh, SparkPoint in my videos. If they did, I would tell you guys it was a sponsored video. So what I got paid here in the beginning, I'm holding very long term because I see the potential in this project and I've seen how they've pivoted to what's relevant in the crypto space. And already this has uh, done a 50X here in just 2020 and has now recovered to the all time high price, which it's currently around. And with everything they have coming and building, I definitely think uh, this has huge potential to do a 10X possibly in the next few months. So they just tripled their team size as well. They have more funding for developing products. So I definitely see this as a good long-term hold for a small cap project, which is why I put it in the pie chart here. So me personally, I do like having a small percent of my portfolio in high risk, small cap cryptocurrencies, which is why I have SparkPoint here. I do own a few others. Uh, but I do have a bigger portfolio than this, obviously. This is just if I was brand new and I wanted to have a diversified portfolio for long-term success. So even if SparkPoint completely disappeared, which I don't think is ever gonna happen, um, I still have great odds here to do very well and still get huge return on investment. But let's say uh, some of these other ones don't do great. Let's say Bitcoin crashes or BNB uh, just doesn't move much or something like that. 
and spark point still uh goes to one billion dollar market cap and gets that 66x i made 200 grand off of that three thousand dollar investment so it doesn't even matter um if i didn't make profit on the other ones here because that's a 20x from the entire investment here of ten thousand dollars just from spark point srk so i do have cardano here as uh, one of the highest percentages out of the top tens because I do think Cardano ADA will have the highest return on investment out of the top 10 cryptocurrencies for 2021. And we've already seen it go up a lot just in the past few months. So I got into Cardano ADA around five cents before the announcement of the Shelly mainnet, which introduced staking. And since then it has gone to 35 cents, now corrected to around uh, hit 25 cents this morning with this market dip. But I do think this will be going over $1 by the launch of the Gogan mainnet, which is coming by March. Uh, so with that major mainnet update coming, there's gonna be a lot of attention on Cardano and prices generally rise towards huge launches like this, especially in a bullish market. So if we compare Cardano market cap to Ethereum's market cap, uh, since Cardano is a major competitor to Ethereum, uh, Cardano's market cap is under 10 billion right now. So it did briefly touch 10 billion um, in that last pump and Ethereum touched 150 billion. So that would be a 15 X in market cap. If Cardano ADA did a 10 X from the current market cap, putting it around a $85 billion market cap right now, which is pretty small compared to Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, that would put Cardano ADA at $2.70 per ADA. So I'm very confident in Cardano ADA being one of the best performers out of the top 10 for return on investment in 2021. That's why I do have it as the highest percentage here um, in this portfolio. And I will slowly be selling Ethereum as it goes up for more Cardano ADA. And then you could put your Cardano ADA in staking and uh, you could get a great annualized return of around four to 6%. So that's pretty huge. Let's say you were um, staking $1 million worth of Cardano ADA, you would be making enough to live off of that passive income alone because at 5%, that would be $50,000 per year and you're getting paid out in more ADA coins. So as the price goes up, that ADA could actually become worth more. So this video is getting pretty long, so I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys found this useful. If you did, a free way to support the channel is like the video, comment below, share the video anywhere on social media. Even if you don't have followers, it does help the channel grow and get more awareness to cryptocurrencies, and I do appreciate that. So I will have some huge updates coming. I have a couple giveaways coming for cryptocurrency as well, and a pre-sale on that crypto membership site which i'll be updating you guys here with so again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video